A can complete a piece of work in 10 days. B in 15 days. C in 20 days. A and C work together for 2 days. And then A was replaced by B. In how many days all together the work was completed. Here A can complete a work in 10 days. B can do the same work in 15 days. C can complete the same work in 20 days. Now all are doing the same job. So take the LCM of 10, 15 and 20. LCM is 60. 10 goes 6 times in 60. 15 goes 4 times in 60. 20 goes 3 times in 60. Now the concept of this diagram means 60 unit is the total work. A's efficiency 6 unit means A can complete 6 unit of work in a day. B's efficiency is 4 unit means B can complete 4 unit of work in a day. C's efficiency is 3 unit means C can complete 3 unit of work in a day. Here question clearly says first A and C work together for 2 days. Then A was replaced by B and B and C completed the remaining work. Here you can see efficiency of A and C in one day is 6 plus 3, 9 unit. Efficiency of A and C is 6 plus 3, 9 unit. And efficiency of B and C is 4 plus 3, 7 unit. Now, A and C worked for 2 days. In 1 day, A and C can complete 9 unit of work. In 2 day, A and C can complete 18 unit of work. Right? So, total work here is 60 unit and work completed by A and C in 2 days is 9 into 2, 18 unit. Because in 1 day A and C can complete 9 unit of work, in 2 days A and, D, A and C can complete 18 unit of work. So, the remaining work is total work is 60, completed work is 18. So, remaining work is 42 unit. So, this is complete. This is completed by B and C. So, time taken by B and C to complete the remaining work. Remaining work is 42 unit and efficiency of B and C is 7 unit. So, B and C will take 6 days to complete the remaining work. So, total time taken by all these 3 is 2 days plus 6 days which is equal to 8 days. So, 8 days is taken to complete this work. Option D is your answer.